हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अप क्वेश्चन वन टू फाइव ऑफ क्लास एट आर ए बट्टा पेपर टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन सेक्शन वन सो लेट्स लुक एट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द एल्फाबेट्स ए बी सी डी ई एफ जी एच एंड आई आर असाइंड नंबर्स वन टू नाइन बट नॉट इन दैट ऑर्डर नंबर सिक्स इज असाइंड टू एल्फाबेट एफ the difference between f and c is 3 and the difference between e and c is 4 what is the number assigned to e so what is given in the question is f is given the number 6 so now if we see 6 the difference between f and c is given to be 3 so we can say c is equal to f plus minus 3 so it could be Either six plus three nine or six minus three three. Now e difference between e and c is given to be four. So this means if we if we take c equal to nine, then e is nine plus minus four. So if we say nine plus four, it becomes thirteen, which is Not an option because they are assigned number one to nine. So nine minus four will be five. So this is one option. The second is if we take c equal to three, then e will be equal to three plus four, which is seven, or three minus four, which is minus one. So this is again not an option. So the possible values of e are five and seven. So this means. Either five or seven. D is the correct or I um, correct answer from this. Moving to the second question, if eight divided by five is one two five six four, nine divided by six is two one six eight one, then we need to find the value of three divided by two. Now we need to identify the pattern in this. Obviously, this is not how mathematically eight divided by five would come out to be, or nine divided by six would come out to be. So we need to find out what is the pattern here. So if we see eight divided by five equal to one two five six four, we see that five cube is one twenty five, and eight square is sixty four. If we see the second thing, which is nine divided by six equal to two one six eight one, it follows the same pattern. Six cube is two one six, and nine square is eighty one. So going by the same pattern, if we say three divided by two, this will be equal to the cube of two here, which is eight. And the square of three here, which is nine, so the answer is eighty-nine, which is the option B. Moving to the third question. In the following question, some numbers are given in the shape of figures. Okay, so this question is incomplete. There are no numbers which are showing up in the shapes. these boxes are blank so we cannot solve this question moving to the fourth question which of the interchanges of sign and numerals would make the following equation correct so the given thing is 3 plus 5 minus 2 equal to 4 now let's take the first option and if we interchange plus and minus And two and three. So instead of three, we write two here. Instead of plus, we write minus here. Five, and then plus here, and then three. So this becomes two minus five is minus three plus three. It becomes zero. So this is not equal to four. So this equation does not become correct. Looking at the B option again, plus and minus are interchanged, and two and five are interchanged. So we get three. Instead of plus, we make it minus. Instead of five, we make it two. Instead of Minus we make it plus and then in place of two we write five. So this is three minus two plus five. This becomes six, which is again not equal to four. 
only plus and minus are interchanged so we make it 3 minus 5 plus 2 which is again 0 and not equal to 4 looking at the d option plus and minus are interchanged and 3 and 5 are interchanged so we write, write instead of 3 we write 5 here instead of plus we write a minus instead of 5 we write 3 and then plus 2 so this makes it 5 minus 3 plus 2 is 4 so this is the d is the correct option so moving to the last question of this session the capital letters in each of the following words are coded and written in small letters on the right side of each word. But these letters are not in order. So, for problem, we make it G R C A T S D. For Roman, we have C F T X S. For lame, it is F G A T. For bold, it is G C D Z. What would be the code for the word mode? Now, if we see in bold, we have G, C, D, Z. Now, D we know is clearly not showing up. If we see B, it is showing up in problem. If we see O, it is showing up in problem in Roman. If we see L, it is showing up in lame. But D is not showing up in any of these. And if we look at this coded word, we see that G, C and D are showing up in these but Z is not showing up anywhere. So this means D is Z. Similarly, if we look at in we, we look at only the alphabets which are showing up in mode. We are not interested in others. So let us first of all now look for Roman and bold. We can see we can look for O. So if we can look for O, Roman and bold, this D we arrive from bold, in Roman and bold only O is common, right, there is nothing else common and if we see the coded thing, C is common, so we can say that O is coded as C. So we know the code for O, we know the code for D. Now let's look at, let's try to find out E here. Or we can also try for, let's see from Roman and lame. We know that A and M are common here and nothing else is common. Right? And if we see the coded word, we have F and T as common. So it is for A and M, it is either of F and T. Now let's look at problem. In problem we have M, right? So either A or M both, they, they are coded as F and T, but in which order we don't know. But if we look at problem, only M is coming, A is not coming. And if we see the coded, coded word here, then we see that F is not coming here. So that this means that M is equivalent to T. So we get the code for M also. Right? Now we look at, let's look at lame and bold. What is common here? We have L is common here and L and the only common alphabet in the coded word for these is G. So that means L is for L, L stands for G. Now if we look at lame, we know that A stands for F now, M for T, L for G. 
this means that e now stands for now is coded as a so now for mode we get all the four alpha the code of all the four alphabets so we can say the code should have z c t and a z c t and a so the only option which fulfills this criteria is d so d is the answer in this case so friends you can visit us at our cool smart learning website and subscribe to our youtube channel to get updates on the new sessions